Um, well, Papa Lil, first we want to honor you and thank you so much just for everything, for being a yielded vessel, for stopping and praying for my daughter and for me. Um, so in December, Mama T had her encounter and she asked that everybody go through the line. You were praying for everybody. So I took her through the line because she was having migraines and was having a lot of issues during her menstrual cycles. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't figure out what it was. You laid hands on her and she went under. Then you said, pick her back up. She went under again. After that, all of her symptoms that she was having went away completely. That was in December. But, but she had been having issues for so long, I still wanted to figure out what the problem was. So I still continued to go find seek the doctors to find out what exactly it was that happened. So then um, they did a couple of tests, a couple of labs, and her, her levels were really high, and they weren't sure what was going on, so they t checked again in a couple of months. And then when they checked the second time, they saw that the levels were still raised and had gone up a little bit more. So then um, they said, let's go in for an MRI. They did an MRI, and they found that she had a tumor sitting on her pituitary gland. That was in March when we got the results. After that, I could not speak of it. I was paralyzed with fear. I did not tell anybody to pray for her. I couldn't say the words. I couldn't call a doctor to, to schedule the next appointment. I was so scared for my daughter's life because when we walked out of the doctor's office, they said, you need to look for her losing her vision. You need to look for her um, starting to have seizures. And so I was, it was like I was walking with a ticking time bomb, like, when is this going to happen? How is this going to happen? And it was her senior year of high school. So I was riddled with fear. Um, I could barely get up to come to church sometimes, but I mustered up the courage to do it. And in June, you prayed for her. You called her out. You said she was dealing with the spirit of depression suicide and then you said that the the de demon who had done that had left a growth and you asked where is the growth and she said it's in my brain and we had just got that confirmation you said that when this demon was being arrested um when this demon was being arrested and going back to the pit that it was taking that growth with it or that growth wouldn't be there anymore so we went back to the doctors on tuesday she got her mri and then we went back on Friday to have the results read. And I have the results here. They couldn't find anything. Hallelujah! 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 Who is that Jesus? Jesus! Celebrate the Lord! Hallelujah! Celebrate the King! Hallelujah! Celebrate the Lord! Hallelujah! Celebrate the King! Oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Who's, who's, uh, who is, uh, uh, where's the doctor? Where is she? Your, your, your daughter. Where's the pharmacist? Pharmacist, come here. Uh, uh, who, who, is, who is in the medical world? Okay, come, come, come. Can you go and look at those papers? And, and camera, let's see what's on the papers. Go, go up, go up. Me, I'm not a doctor, so I can't. I, I just know. She works in surgery? Yay. <laughs> now, me, me, I'm a spiritual man. I don't know these ones and zeros. I just know healed, done. Amen. You can clap for Jesus better. I'm a spiritual specialist. This is the first. Spiritual surgery, I understand. <laughs> Spiritual operation, I understand. Physical, mm. <laughs> I just know it's done and it is done. Anything more than that, less than that, I don't know. Ah, she said, oh, can you put the microphone on the doctor? Okay. Let's hear the... All right, this is really exciting. And I, when you were saying that, I'm in brain surgeries a lot. I see this all the time. Okay. And it lasts so long. Like 20 hours was the last one with a young kid about her age. Mm -hmm. And they could, they, it was really hard to get it out. This never happens. Hallelujah! This never happens. This never happens. Wait. Are, are you spicing this up because it is Papa Lo? Is it the truth? No, this is God. It never happens. I'm in those rooms. 20 hours. We're in there. Are you see how seriousness is out. true? I, even it I'm convinced. out and it doesn't fix the problem and they come back with another one and we're in there again. Young people like that. They have, see them all over their bodies. It's a spirit. Sincerely. 
This never happens. I've okay, never can seen we can we show the papers on 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 on? Uh, yeah, show camera person. Let's 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 get it. We want people to see it. This is the original. Original March mm -hmm. 10th. This is March. Mm -hmm. You can see we're not lying. It's on here. Where's the date? It's March something. But this is yeah, date's right there. March. This is what they said. That's big. <laughs> to be in your brain, that's huge. Okay. Then right here, this is the new one. Okay. And it says it is normal in appearance. No focal lesion. Meaning there is nothing identified. Everything is divine. You're not clapping for Jesus. Listen, this is why when we say, can I prophesy, let us prophesy. Amen. Hallelujah. If I didn't see it, how was I going to pray for her for her to get help? Yes. Imagine, how would I help her if I couldn't see it? The angel of the Lord is the one who told me. I've even forgotten the prophecy. I'm now starting to remember. 